And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Aiden M Mukeli. I'm going to say Mukeli. Museli. I'm going to say Museli. Aiden Museli writes, Hey, John and Rob. I was like the rest of the planet and stayed up Thursday night to watch the premiere of Falcon and Winter Soldier. I guess it really was almost everyone else because they just announced it had a bigger audience than any other Disney Plus debut yet, including WandaVision and Mandalorian. Do you think the audience will continue to grow with each episode like WandaVision did? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. I appreciate that. And yeah, a lot of us, a lot of people were looking forward to the debut of Falcon and Winter Soldier and to seeing if they can follow up on the success that they had with WandaVision. And apparently the answer to that question is yes. As Disney put out a press release yesterday that I got just before we started the show, uh, basically saying, this was the biggest debut we've ever had. This comes to us from Deadline, who writes, Disney Plus says that The Falcon and the Winter Soldier ranks as the most watched series premiere ever for the streaming service during its opening weekend, Friday, March 19th through Sunday, March 22nd, and the most watched title overall for the same period on a global basis, including in Disney Plus hot star markets. All right. On the one hand, this sounds really great. This sounds really great. I mean, you launched bigger than WandaVision did? Great, because WandaVision was a big launch. You launched bigger than Mandalorian did? Great, it's the biggest launch. You come out and say, this is the biggest launch we've ever had on, um, we. this is the biggest launch we've ever had on Disney+. Plus. That's great, and that's impressive. If Disney+, Plus had been around for 20 years. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to downplay the significance of Falcon and Winter Soldier launching bigger than Mandalorian did. I'm not trying to downplay that. I'm not trying to downplay saying the fact that they're saying it launched bigger than WandaVision did. I'm not trying to downplay that. But this thing about when your service has been around for one year, saying it is the all-time biggest launch we've ever had. Notice, though, that like Amazon, like Netflix, like HBO Max, they didn't actually release specific numbers. They just wanted to come out and say and spin this the best way they could by saying it's the biggest we've ever had. And, and of, of course, it's the biggest they've ever had. I, I, the thing is growing and they're building momentum. So, Rob, I'm not trying to poo-poo on this. I'm not trying to rain on their parade. It's great. It's impressive. It's good. It's all good news. But, I mean, the whole verbiage of it's our all-time biggest thing when you've only really launched a couple of premium series. I mean, it's as bigger than Mandalorian and, and WandaVision. Well, those are the only ones you've really ever had. So I don't know. I, I think you got to be happy with it. I think you got to be pleased, but it's probably going to be a long time before we know what the actual numbers are. Rob, were you surprised to hear about this? And do you think it's a big deal? Well, no, because they've had more subscribers than they've ever had before. So it makes sense that that it was a bigger debut than WandaVision or Falcon uh, than uh, Mandalorian because when Mandalorian debuted they had millions and millions and millions of less subscribers now they have more subscribers than they've ever had so i would assume just that of course they had the biggest debut ever because there's more people watching Disney Plus than ever before so look it's a win sure more people are tuning in but i would assume if they didn't have bigger numbers, then they're doing something. Then the show would have been yep. bad because, you know. And, and and look, everyone always looks at numbers, and I it's it's fine. But you you have to understand what statistics tell you, really. And to me, it's like I would have expected nothing less from this show. And again, I really, really was impressed with the first episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier. And uh, but again. Uh, how many more tens of millions of subscribers does Disney Plus have now than when The Mandalorian's first season debuted? A lot more. So, of course, they have more subscribers or more uh, people watching. And it's been a year. Here's, But here's the interesting part of the question, though. With WandaVision, we saw this fanatical growth week after week after week because everybody talked about it, buzzed about it. Got more people on board, and then they launched the next episode. Everybody talked about it, buzzed about it. More people got on board, and the next episode got bigger. I think it was by week four or five was the number one show in the world. Do we think Falcon and Winter Soldier can have that same kind of trajectory? Because I think the biggest problem they're going to have mimicking that same kind of trajectory that WandaVision had was that a lot about WandaVision was mystery, right? And nothing sucks in an audience quite like mystery. 
And Mm -hmm. I don't know that this is the same. I don't know that this is going to have that same kind of element to it. It'll have that same mystery element to it like a WandaVision did. So I think it's going to continue to get bigger every week. I think it's going to be incredibly successful. I don't know if it's going to have that same incredibly steep upwards curve that WandaVision had. I don't know. What do you think about that? Well, it depends. I mean, you know, I I think I I don't know why, but in my mind, I keep comparing this to the BBC series Bodyguard that starred um, the guy who played Rob Stark, Richard Madden, who's also in Eternals. Yes. Uh, And it was a six episode show. And I was hooked on it. You know, the the plot itself, it, it was it was kind of a mystery, but it was this propulsive action plot driven story that I was really caught up in. And I could see this happening to that. I mean, I think we'll know after the second episode, they're going to up the stakes. I think there's going to be a lot of revelations. And if they make it that way, if it's a lot, a lot on the lot, like the story's not like Bodyguard, but I'm using it as a sort of a political action thriller uh, with a hero at the center of it. it that's kind of what it reminded me of. So I'm going by that. But I remember watching, I couldn't get to the next episode fast enough. And if, Falcon Winter Soldier, they've done all the setup. The next episode's really got to be, it's really got to be involving from a plot standpoint. We've got these guys' characters pretty well defined, better than they've ever been defined before. So I'm on both of their sides. But now I want to be, I want to be immersed and drenched in a plot that is just, I can't wait for the next installment. Question is, guys, what do you think about this? Disney's saying it's their biggest premiere ever. Does that really mean a hell of a lot for a for a service that's only been around a year and has more subscribers now than it did? Do you think that this thing can have the same type of rocket-like trajectory in numbers that WandaVision did, or do you think it'll be a little bit more modest? How do you guys see this playing out? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys. 